would have also done something like that. And then all these are harmonized. You know, because, you see, the, the thing about getting a protocol is that so you do not do things on a trial basis. Mm -hmm. You know that this is exactly what you are going in there to do, and this is the outcome that you are expecting. So that at any point in time, if you are not realizing any of the out that, those outcomes, then you know that something may not be going okay. Then you can bring in, you know, some of the remedial mm -hmm. measures. Um, it's never too late. We, we, that can be done. If that is if it's not been done by some of the groupings already. Mm -hmm. But can we provide mass education to the generality of the populace will be a good thing. The reason being that, yes, we are all affected in one way or the other. Except that it will be important that we know that this is the kind of information that will be okay for this particular area or this group. And I'm basically referring to the, I mean, the local dialects that we have. Um, I'm not sure that there is any name in any of the local dialects, you know, for COVID-19, uh, except that people may try to, you know, give some description to it. And in an attempt to do so, you may end up bringing up the negativity more than the positive aspects of it. And that also has the tendency to, you know, fuel the stigma. And so it has to be thought through well and then done properly. Of course, if there is even the need to bring in people you know, language experts, so they can do the translation properly. Otherwise, then, we, we, we would do that, but end up also creating problem. And why am I saying this? In the local languages, it's as if, because there isn't any name, uh, you've had people who are referring to the disease as Kuru. But that's not the name, because we do that, and then, you know, it kind of like heightens the fear. Uh, this thing that I have, the nose mask, Somebody is saying that it is a brazier for the mouth. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure that is how, that's the name. That, you know, because then once you do that, wearing it becomes some way. I mean, and already I'm struggling. But I'm doing it for a purpose. You know, so we need to ensure that these things are done. It is vetted. Then we can put it out there so that people can understand. We have people who have disability. Are we getting people who kind of like put this, lang I mean, the information in those language, the sign language, so people can understand. So I think that we shouldn't just, yes, it is something that we are all facing, but we should also get some group of people who will be looking at it very dispassionately and provide, you know, the kind of interventions that will help us, you know, solve this problem.